Hey guys, Sean T. Phillips here with a brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday. Sean Bader today. Today going to go out to see what things came out today, see what things are on sale. Today though, new release-wise, there's actually quite a few uh, things coming out today. The main really big thing coming out today is uh, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. And with that one, there's a number of different retail exclusives uh, coming out for that. I know, um, I don't think there's anything for Target, but I, I know um, Walmart has one that has an exclusive pin with it. And then um, Best Buy has the Steelbook release. Also though, Titanic is coming out today for the first time on 4k and there's a like a really big 25th anniversary collection which i don't know if it's going to be sold in any stores or not i'm going to show you guys that one at the end of this video but i don't know if that's going to be in any stores i feel like it perhaps could be in best buy they might have it there I don't think it would be something we'd see at Walmart or Target, though. But we shall see, though. The problem, though, is so often Walmart and Target don't have the stuff out. But but we'll see. Other than that, though, uh, the color purple, that one's coming out today on 4K for the first time on 4K today as well. I can't remember if there was going to be a steelbook at, for that one at Best Buy or not. I don't think so, but there, there might be. I might be wrong on that. There's also a couple other smaller releases coming out today as well. So hopefully some of those will be at Walmart. Like I think there's, I think I saw there's a couple horror ones today that either was, I, th I think so. But anyway though, guys, let's get going. Uh, oh yeah, uh, also too, at the end of this video is gonna be a bunch of brand new DVD, Blu-ray and 4K reviews for some things I received to review and talk about for you guys as well too. But anyway though, guys, let's get going and see what we can find today. Into Target we go. And they're always out front of here, you know, with the chocolate bars, trying to get everybody to sign up for the chocolate, you know, buy the chocolate bars. That's like the big thing now. And I don't, I, for some reason, they never have, you know, can move people along from doing that out front. I don't know why. All right, so we're head over, though, and take a look, you know, like I always show where the movies used to be and now the books. And it's very busy in here today. It's like packed. But let's see, though, anything new changed? I think this one, Fourth Wing, you know, that one was changed. Other than that, though, that seems to be all the main ones. But yeah, like I said, look how busy it is in here today. It's definitely, you know, everyone's doing the holiday shopping and everything now. But we'll head back and see if anything is out over there. We shall see. All right, they have some kind of talking going on right now so we can take a quick peek. So, oh yeah, so I am seeing the stuff out. I see Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. I see the Blu-ray. I don't see a 4K for it. Other than that, though, they have Oppenheimer, the Blu-ray that, that came out a couple weeks back. But other than that, though, I don't see anything else new here. At least they have something out, but no, no 4K, though, for Indiana Jones, though. Into Walmart we go. All right, so we're gonna take a look and see what they have over here. And I'm seeing a couple different things over here. Oh yeah, this is one that came out today. I don't see any of the exclusives though for Indiana Jones. I see the Blu-ray and then I see Indiana Jones, the you know, the DVD of it, but no 4K for it. I do see though, this one that came out today, this Rob Snyder movie, Daddy Daughter Trip. This one looks kind of interesting. If you guys have seen this one though, let me know how this one was. I don't know if this was one that was like on Netflix or something like that. I don't know where it originally played though, but definitely looks interesting. Like I said, if you guys have seen that one though, let me know how that one was. Other than that though, I, I see this one, The Chosen season one, two, and three. I think those were ones that came out today. And then over here though, let's see. Oh yeah, they do have the one thing that I wanted to get today. This one here called The Elevator Game. That one looked interesting. What's really funny is when I looked online, it didn't show it as available. It showed like not available in stores. And then um, that muzzle, that was out a couple weeks back. This one came out today too, Star Wars Strange, sorry, Star Trek Strange New Wars. I always say Star Wars. And then um, the Blu-ray is um, $34.96. The DVD is $29.96. This one today, Kill Room released as well. Uh, this new Uma Thurman, Samuel Jackson movie. And I don't think they have the Blu-ray of it, but the uh, Creep Show season four, that released today as well. As well as I think SpongeBob season 13. I think that was today too. So yeah, a lot of different things today, but I'm definitely gonna get that elevator game one though. Yeah, so I ended up getting that, the um, the elevator one in there. And what's funny is too, like if you would get this one on Amazon, uh, I'm glad they had it because it was, um, you know, on Amazon, it would have been $14.99 for this one. So definitely glad they had it. Look at all the people here doing the pickup stuff. No one likes to come inside anymore. They all do that store pickup business and block everything all up. Whew. Hopefully I can get out of here. Whew. Into the second Walmart we go. All right, so we're gonna take a look. This is a location though that usually is like very behind on things. So yeah, like you can see, like they have like the spots for Indiana Jones, but it's not out. They do have the chosen one, uh, that one right there with the chosen, that one's there. But other than that though, the one week, this was all totally gone. 
but see like they have spots for it like elevator game among wolves so some of the other newer ones but of course nothing's out here like i said it's always like that in this location i don't know why it's always like the location where the movies are always always raptured away but at least i found that elevator game one that one looked kind of interesting you know other than that like i said this one just didn't have anything put out but at least that other location for the most part usually has this stuff out 90 percent of the time though into best buy we go yeah, so in here, though, it looks like they actually have everything out in here because last Tuesday they didn't have the stuff put out on the shelves. But I see Titanic here. I don't see the big super limited edition one, but they have the standard 4K here for $30.99 uh, for that one. And then they have Young Guns, the Best Buy exclusive steelbook release here for uh, $23.99 for that one. Other than that, though, I don't see anything new right here in this spot, but I did notice a couple new things over here. I don't see, of course, the Indiana Jones. That sold out. I had a feeling that would go quick, but I do see the Blu-ray for $20. $28.99 and the 4k for $34.99 for that one and then other than that over here I did see a couple other new things I see the kill room also oh, they, they actually have the blu-ray or the 4k so the blu-ray is $16.99 the 4k is $26.99 for that one. Oh yeah and then they have tales from the um, dark side I think that was actually out last Tuesday that's $29.99 for that one naked gun that was last week other than that though I'm trying to see if anything else in here is mixed in new and there's sometimes there's some stuff mixed in. Oh, yeah. Then they have the color purple here for $25.99 for that one for 4K. And I think actually think Office Christmas Party came out today as well for $25.99. And then Point Break, I think this was today as well, the 4K for $29.99 for that one. If you guys have seen, though, this one, though, let me know if this one's worth picking up. This the Kill Room one. I probably would just get the Blu-ray one because it's so much cheaper. But if you guys have seen this one, though, let me know how this one was. Anyway, though, guys, that was all for my brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday shopping video today. Like I always say, if you guys enjoy these shopping videos, uh, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Also, in the comments below, though, let me know, you know what you guys picked up on DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K. If you guys ended up picking up anything on, on DVD, Blu-ray, or 4K today. Also, as well, let me know anything new that you guys have seen in theaters lately or on streaming. Uh, this past weekend, I saw John Woo's new film, uh, The Silent Night Movie, which was really interesting because the whole movie was done. There's really no dialogue in the whole film. There's a couple, like, words here and there that are sad, like a few little teeny things but really in the beginning of the movie the main character gets basically shot in the throat and can't talk so there's like no it's, it's interesting though it really was an interesting movie it's the other interesting thing is too there's probably like 50 plus people in the movie but on the imdb there's only eight people listed so i think there might have been a lot of like I don't know, it's really weird. There's not a lot of people credited on the IMDb for that movie. And the other film that I saw, uh, and I feel like it kind of went under the radar, not a lot of people know of this one, Nicolas Cage's new film, Dream Scenario, which was really interesting. And it's like, his, basically he's just playing this regular guy in the movie and all of a sudden, for some reason, everyone in the world starts dreaming of him and like just seeing him in dreams. And he's just like, it's really interesting. It's just a, an interesting concept. I really like that one a lot. And a lot of people now are talking like, because there's a shot of him holding a Freddy glove in the movie and people are like, oh, maybe he could play Freddy. Which, Nicolas Cage could be pretty interesting in Fre as Freddy. I could almost, I could kind of see that. Especially him playing it really, really, really over the top, which would be kind of cool. But anyway, though, guys, like I said, let me know if you guys saw anything this past weekend as well and what you guys picked up today. But now stay tuned for the brand new DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K reviews. And the first one I got here is from Shout Factory, Shout Studios line. This is a weird, the uh, Al Yankovic story here. And this is the film that's the story of Weird Al, Al Yankovic. This is originally a movie that was a, um, I think it was a Roku original. So I'm glad that now it has a physical release. I think it's also went on like, um, you can rent it on like VOD and stuff like that. But originally it came out as a Roku streaming exclusive. I think it was kind of like what sort of launched Roku having like exclusive kind of movies and stuff like that. And basically though, this is definitely, you know, the stuff changed though, of course, because it's kind of like the story of Weird Al and kind of how he started, but there's a lot of things changed, a lot of things added, all this kind of humor kind of added in here and everything like this. And Weird Al himself does play a different character in here though. So it's cool to see Weird Al in the movie as well. There's lots of different cameos. Uh, Daniel Radcliffe, though, was playing uh, Weird Al in this one, uh, playing Weird Al's character. And basically, though, it's kind of his story about how he started and kind of how he started making uh, parody music and stuff like that. So I thought this is a really fun movie. And this is the 4K Ultra HD edition, which includes the 4K and the Blu-ray copy of the film. And it has on here, though, a brand new uh, commentary track on here with Weird Al, Weird Al Yankovic and the, and the um, director, as well as deleted and extended scenes, alternate scenes hosted by Weird Al Yankovic, uh, movie promos, featured on the making of Weird Al, late 
Late Night with Seth Miles interview with Weird Al, um, IMDb plethora of cameos, Variety.com interview with Daniel Radcliffe and Ever Rachel Wood, uh, the, um, the Warp.com interview with Weird Al, uh, lyric music video and trailers on this one here uh, as well. The other one here, this is from uh, Shop Factory Scream Factory line. This is the brand new 4K Ultra HD edition, which includes the 4K and the Blu-ray copy of the Corey Haim, uh, Gary Busey film, uh, Silver Bullet. This is a movie, I, I, I have watched this movie so many times throughout the years, and I feel like, too, when it comes to, you know, Corey Haim movies, this is the one that you don't hear talked about as much as, of course, things like Lost Boys and Dream a Little Dream and, you know, ones like that, but you don't hear about this one as often. And it's a really great movie, which he's the main character in, and basically, his character, you know, he basically discovers and believes that there's a werewolf in the town, and it's kind of him making it his mission to figure out who this werewolf is and stop it, because people in the town are starting to go get killed and things like that. Uh, Everett McGill is in the movie as well, you know, from people who play Daddy and people under the stairs. Always a huge fan of that guy. He's always great. He's also was in, you know, um, Twin Peaks. But this is a great movie. And it's also, you know, based on the um, book by Stephen King as well. Now on here, though, it has a brand new, uh, like I said, it's a 4K Ultra HD in the Blu-ray. It has the brand new two, uh, 2023 transfer from the original camera negative. Has a brand new commentary track on here with um, Eric Vasp and Scott uh, Wapner from the King cast. Um, and then it has on here um, some f archival features like interviews on here, uh, radio spots, TV trailers, interviews with Everett McGill, um, interviews on here with um, Kent Bl Broad Broadhurst on here as well. So like I said, really great film. If you guys have not seen this one, definitely worth checking out. Now the next one here is from uh, from Disney. And this is, I, I really like this movie a lot. And like when it came to the last movie that was before this one with Shia LaBeouf, I, I liked that Indiana Jones movie, but I didn't feel like... It was as cool as the other ones. To me, though, this one had the same feel of the first three films, more than I thought the last one did. I did, I do kind of still hope that we get to see more with Shia LaBeouf again, but I don't think that will ever happen. I don't think so. It's because of what happens. They could do like... I don't know. I don't think it could, though. I, I wish... I, I think a lot of people would kind of like to see more with that character. But this is Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, which, like I said, I really like this one. And I also thought they did a great job, too, finding a way to kind of have, you know, like adding another story point and having like footage when they de-aged you know um uh you know um Harrison Ford's character and they did a really good job and basically it's kind of how his character got involved with the bad guy in the film you know who what's the actor's name why am I blanking on Ma Mads Milkinson how he kind of got involved with him with this this object that he was trying to get you know the dial of destiny this object type thing and basically though um he kind of thought that this guy was dead for years and you know years later now when Har you know Harrison Ford is now retired and everything he now this guy is back and he kind of has to go after him again. I, I, I like this. Like I said, I really like this movie. You know, really well done. Really fun movie. And like I said, it still has the same vibe and everything. Now on here though, uh, feature-wise, it has an um, uh, isolated score only version of the movie. And then it has a five uh, part behind the scenes documentary on here. Join the cast and filmmakers on location and on set for a stunt breakdowns, visual effects, historical recreations, John Williams music, and a fond where, where, farewell to the greatest heroes of all time. So a bunch of different features on here here as well this one looks great here though on 4k definitely would if you guys like i said if you guys have not seen this one would highly recommend you guys check it out and also looks great like i said here on 4k now the next one's here these are ones that were you know disney plus you know exclusives and i'm so glad that disney is now putting these out on physical discs and you know and they're i hopefully will continue doing this through all of their shows and you know exclusive movies i'm hoping like i said fingers crossed i'm hoping that they will but we're seeing more streaming services like hulu starting to put stuff out out, you know, with um, um, the one um, Prey movie, and then I think I saw Netflix is putting out Babysitter on 4K. So we're seeing more physical discs for streaming services. So I'm glad to see that happening, and hopefully it will continue because that's the only way to really preserve these things. Because a lot of shows, when they're if they're taken off of streaming, that's it. And I, I feel like people have realized that now. Thank, I'm glad, and now people are like, okay, we got to have the discs. But we have here the complete first and second season of The Mandalorian here, which is a great show here. And it's basically, though, the character of The Mandalorian, who is a bounty hunter, 
It's basically he's sent on these type of sort of, you know, hits to take out these certain kind of bad guys and certain type of characters and for, for money and certain things along those lines. And that's basically what it is. But it's really well done. The thing that's cool, too, is it's always him kind of encountering all of these sort of different weird kind of characters. And so I don't know. I, I really like this series. It's really fun, fun show. Now, I'll show you guys, though, a look in, at these steelbooks. So we have the complete first season here. And now on here, though, it has the um, Undercover, the Imperial designs adaption of the series and meet the new villains of empire's threats so a featurette as well as uh, john favreau dane feeney and the crew highlight the craftsmanship behind gorgo the mandalorian's arsenal and the show's practical effects and digital wizardry on here and i'll show you guys the look inside here's the steel book and there's also inside of here these kind of um kind of stills from the show like um art card stills of the show so that's really cool as well but like i said so glad to be seeing these ones getting physical releases and thanks again to disney for sending these over to show you guys and here's a look though at the mandalorian season two and here's a look though at the back for this one and we have the child here on the back and then this one has on here um designing the new republic john favreau and dave fione talk about the new republic's evolution and aesthetics in the story rich period of star wars timeline and forging the cover to part two talented artists reveal their inspiration and the designs of warriors and the weaponry of the legend of the mandalore ex expands on here as well here's a look though inside and then there's also the cards as well that are like the stills, kind of art card stills as well included in here. So really great releases in here. And like I said, hopefully they continue on releasing physical discs of their streaming releases. The next one here, this is from Lion's Gate. And this is a really cool uh, steelbook collection here. And I believe this is a Walmart exclusive here. And this is the Hunger Games 4 movie collection here. And this is, like I said, the steelbook edition here, which is a 4K Ultra HD version of the films. So and this has all the films in the series. Of, of, of course, except for the brand new movie, which I actually really liked uh, the new film a lot, The Ballad of Songs and Snakes. I like these films. I really do. I like the Divergent series as well. I, I do wish that that series got finished because it was like one more and they never got to finish it. So I'm glad that this series, you know, has, has been finished and they're, you know, doing the new one. But here's a look, though, inside of the Steelbook for this one. And there's the digital copy. And here's how uh, the discs look in here. But these are really fun movies. You guys have never seen these ones. And they look great here on 4K but a really cool, uh, you know, brand new uh, steelbook release uh, for this one here. And now the other one here, this is from uh, Paramount. Now, this is a really cool release here. Now, this is the 25th anniversary. It's hard to believe this movie is now 25 years old. I remember so well when this movie first came out, and it was one of those movies, too, like, literally everybody you could imagine was talking about this film. It was like everyone, it was kind of like Jurassic Park was another film that I remember, like, everyone around me was talking about it, and this is that movie. And I really liked it. I remember, though, when I first saw it, I was, like, so depressed. It was really sad and everything. And this is Tit Titanic, the... 25th anniversary edition here. This is the 4K Ultra HD. I'm going to show you guys everything that's inside of here. What's so funny too is it this really brought back memories of me remembering when they released Titanic on VHS back in the day. And that was the first time when people were really like, wait a minute, what's widescreen? Because that came out, of course, before DVDs. And then they had a VHS, you know, full screen version and a widescreen version. I remember the time no one could figure out really what all that meant because that was not a normal thing. So James Cameron was always like doing things before other people. People, which I think was really cool that he was kind of ahead of things. And that's what's really cool about James Cameron. It was really a, way ahead of things, the way he did everything. Now, in here, this is the limited edition de deluxe um, gift set. This has exclusive um, bound hardcover coffee, coffee table book, detailed ships, schematics, collectible reproduction, movie prop premiums, and sheet music is included inside of here as well. But I'm going to show you guys, though, a look inside. So basically, you take this off here, and you have the famous image here. And then I'm going to show you guys. So basically, they sl it slides out like this. So in here, this is how they would come out. And then we have right here. This is where they have like the um, the white star line. This is what it's like the schematics and stuff like that is in here. So let's see. I'll show you guys a look at all this stuff. So like there's first class dinner, like the dinner menu, the second class dinner menu, and then the third class lunch, dinner, and breakfast menu. And this is like the Titanic launch ticket. And then this is like, make it count. Like it's like the note from the movie. And then a third class thing, another note, and then the sheet music. And oh yeah, and then this is like the schematics of the ship and then the uh, sheet music. And then, let's see, 
And then also though, make sure I don't miss any of these things. Let me put this one thing back. I don't want to lose any of these things in here. And then there's also the booklet, in, the book in here too, which is kind of like the schematics as well as the boat. And then there's like stills from the movie, you know, uh, stuff about the production, all that kind of stuff in here. And this is also where the um, the discs are as well. So here's where the discs are both found as well. So you guys can see both the discs are here as well, but a really, really great set here. And if you guys, like I said, have not seen Titanic, definitely watching it for the first time in 4K is the way to go. Great movie here. And the next one I got here is from Paramount as well. And this is the 4K Ultra HD edition, which includes the 4K and the digital copy of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, A Mutant Mayhem, which is the brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles film, which I actually really like this one. I really like the animation style of this as well. It's done, you know, Seth Rogen was the um, producer on the film. He's one of the voice actors in the movie as well. And I, I don't know, I, I like the style of this. It has like, it, it was done more like the graphic novels and it has this real comic book look to it and everything. And I'm somebody too that really grew up with the Ninja Turtles. I, like, I remember as like a little kid, like the stuff that I was really watching was like the Ninja Turtle, Turtles and Pee Wee. Like honestly, that was the main stuff I was really looking at. So like I had so many Ninja Turtles figures. I mean, like you guys would not even believe, like I remember always having to go to KB Toys and trying to find the real specific ones. And of course I always liked the ones that were really difficult to find. So I've always been a fan of the Turtles. So always liked them. And I feel like this is honestly the best rendition of them since the original movies. I really do because I, I, I like the way they did it. I, I definitely look forward to seeing more with you know in this series with the characters and everything. It has on here, Meet the Teens behind uh, Teens Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Mutant Uprising featurette, New York, New York, uh, The Visual Style, The World of Mutant Mayhem, and Learn to Draw Leo, a featurette on here as well. But like I said, this one, guys, is definitely worth checking out. Really fun movie here. The other one here to let you guys know that was available as well, and I think this is actually the second movie in the series. I believe, and this is uh, Paw Patrol, the Mighty Movie. Like I said, just wanted you guys to know that this was available if you guys were a fan of the Paw Patrol series. I believe, though, I think it started like as a either toys and then was a series. I don't know for sure if it was like a series first and then the toys. I, I don't know the whole a whole thing behind everything, though. But this is basically, though, when the Paw Patrol end up actually, you know, they were superheroes, you know, saving the days and stuff, but they actually now end up, you know, getting power, superpowers. This has on here, though, pa uh, Power Smiley, Powerful Pups featurette, and a Totally Paul cast featurette on, as well on this one here. The next one here is from Warner Brothers. They sent over a free copy of this one. Lay guys know that this one was available. And this is one here. This is the um, 4K Ultra HD edition here of the film uh, The Color Purple here, you know, which is directed by Steven Spielberg uh, here. And this one has on here, though, I, I believe this is the first time though this has ever been released on 4K. I'm really interested, too, in the brand new Color Purple movie that they're doing as well. It looks really interesting. I'm really interested in seeing the differences with that film as well, too. But this one has on here Conversation with the Ancestors, The Color Purple, uh, Color, Color Purple from book to screen a um, on here a collaboration of spirits casting and acting color purple cultivating classics the making of color purple a uh, color purple the musical and theatrical trailers on this one here uh, as well the next one here this is from uh, Sony and this is the brand new 4k ultra HD edition here of stand by me and this is this for uh, the the steelbook edition here as well this is one of those movies I have watched this movie so many times throughout the years and it's basically about a group of these kids uh, you know it's will Wheaton, River Phoenix, Corey Feldman, and Jerry O'Connell, and basically they're going to try and find this kid, and they believe that this kid had died, and find his body out in the middle of the woods. It's kind of them going on this whole journey. It's kind of like a self-discovery of these kids as well because they all kind of have their own set of problems and things in their lives that are kind of going wrong and stuff like that so it's kind of them sort of discovering things as they're going along on this journey through you know the the woods and stuff like that it is it's a great movie i've watched this movie so many times throughout the years this one has on here though on the 4k disc it has deleted and alternate scenes and then the blu-ray disc has picture in picture commentary track on here with actors will uh, wheaton and Corey feldman uh walking the tracks the summer of stand by me for feature at audio commentary with Rob Reiner and stand by me a music video on this one here uh, as well and I'll show you guys though a look inside here's the um the steelbook as well the next ones here, these ones are from uh, moviezing.com and I have a link where you guys can order these ones for the best price this one was also from um I think it's from 
Pulse, Pulse R Records, I believe. And it's a movie here called It Came Upon a Midnight Call, uh, sorry, it Came Upon a Midnight Clear. And this one has um, Michael Berryman in the film. Uh, I, I really like this movie. This is a really fun film. And basically, Michael Berryman is like the high school principal of this school. And basically, like, the one girl, this one guy, like, likes the real popular girl in the school, and she was going to go out with him, and she ends up getting, like, going missing. And there's basically some kind of a killer at the school, and they're trying to kind of figure out exactly who this killer is. So the one kid, you know, teams up with this other girl at the school, and it's basically them trying to get to the bottom of who is this killer and, you know, what's going on and stuff. I thought this was a really fun movie, and it has a real, like, throwback kind of, like, 80s early 90s vibe to it and Michael Berryman's always great and I, I I don't know I really like this one I also like the teacher I'm the actor who played the teacher in here he kind of reminded me a little bit of Joe Estevez a little bit like I don't know I, the you can kind of see him right here but he was really good that that was a great actor in this one uh, the next one here is from Movie Zing as well. This is also from Bayview Entertainment. And this, I really like this movie. It's called Bliss of Evil. And I always like these kind of movies about like recording studios and things like this. And this one, I, I, this is the first thing in a while that I really like started thinking about a lot after I watched it. And basically though, this is about a group of people who are, you know, working on their album. Uh, it's an Australian film and they were working on like recording their new album and they were doing it like late in the middle of the night and something happens and they end up like getting locked into the place and there's somebody in there trying to kill them. And it's kind of like, who is this person? And so it's a, it's a slasher film, but it's like a, I don't know. I really like the build up to this movie and it was actually pretty creepy. And I don't know. This one is definitely, definitely worth checking out. Uh, you know, I really, like I said, really like this one. The other one here is from Movie Zing as well. And this is also from Bayview Entertainment. This is another one here called uh, The Dark Sisters. And this is basically, though, about these two sisters that were going on a trip out to the woods. And you know, like, they kind of had, had some problems together in the past. And it was kind of them trying to kind of reconnect and after not seeing each other for a long time. And, like, something happened in the past. Like, there was a thing that kind of drove them apart and everything. And basically, though, when they get out there, though, it's kind of like something starts going on and it becomes a very bad situation for these sisters out here. It was a really interesting, slow burn, very creepy film here. Like I said, this one is called The Dark Sisters. The next ones here, these ones are all from uh, Severn Films and some really cool releases here to let you guys know that were available. The first one here, this one is, is known under two different titles, uh, Zombie Holocaust or uh, Dr. Butcher MD. I think that the Zombie Holocaust is the more known title, I'm pretty sure. But I, I think Dr. Butcher MD, I remember seeing that edition come out. I I'd like seen that like in Borders Books back in the day, like when that first came out from like Shriek Show or something like that, I'm pretty sure. Um, but I remember really liking that movie. And this one, like I said, it has on here, though, on uh, Dr. Butcher MD, uh, it has a theatrical trailer and video release trailer. And then on Dr. Uh, sorry, Zombie Holocaust, it has the 4K version. This is basically two different cuts of the movie. And then, um, and then disc three has butchery and an interview. So, so basically it has a lot of features. It has interviews. It has a room morgues, Michael Gilgood tours, new New York locations of Italian horror, uh, Dawn of the Deuce, uh, you know, nostalgia tour, 42nd street, uh, and on here, cutting, uh, doctor interview on here with the editor. Uh, and then the four, the disc four has zombie Holocaust on Blu-ray has Voodoo man interview with star Ian McCullen interview with the special effects artist, uh, so uh, and New York U locations in looking at them in the 80s and then 2015. Uh, so like I said, tons of features on this release here. It is like so full of features on this release. There's also included in here too a, um, you know, a vomit bag too. If, if, the, if the movie makes you sick. Uh, the other one here uh, is from Severn as well. This is one here called uh, Count Dracula. And this is also the 4K Ultra HD edition here. And this is a Christopher Lee film. And this one has on disc one has the uh, 4K version of the movie and as well as a commentary track with film historian David DelVal, as well as disc two has uh, illustrated 1973 Christopher Lee audio interview, uh, interview with Jess Franco, interview with Fred Williams, uh, interview with actor Jack Taylor, uh, uh, stakeholders appreciation of, by filmmaker Christopher Gaines. And then on disc three, it has Dracula Barcelona documentary, Jess Franco's Bram Stoker's Dracula, uh, in the Land of Franco, bonus sequence with Alan Paint and Stephen Thrower, alternate title sequence, and then disc four also includes the um, the soundtrack as well for this one. And the next one I got here is from Severn Films as well, and this is a really
really cool collection here. This is a Cushing Curiosities, and this is a six disc set of all different things from Peter Cushing. It's, I think it's five different movies and a TV series that are like lesser known things that he was involved in. That a lot of people haven't seen or lesser spoken of ones. It includes five feature films, six BBC teleplays, 200 page book, and 16 hours of special features included in here in this collection. So I'll show you guys what's in here and everything too. So it has a booklet in here, like I was saying, the 200 page booklet about, you know, Peter Cushing, the, you know, the films that he's been involved in, about the, you know, the projects that, you know, the films that are included inside of this uh, collection here uh, as well. And then the movies that are in here and the, as well as the TV series. Let's see. So the first one in here, now this one, I'll cover this so no one says anything, is one here called Bloodsuckers. This is one from 1971. This has a comedy track on here, A Stranger in the City, a short film by Robert Howard Davis, Daddy's Girl interview on here with the director, uh, interview on here with the author, uh, John Hamilton on Robert Howard Davis. Uh, and then it has on here uh, Freedom Seekers title sequence, a trailer on this one here. And then this one here was um, a movie here called Cone of Science from 1960. This has high drama interview on here with actor Michael Craig, newsreel on Peter Cushing and his miniature soldiers, illustrated audio interviews on here. Uh, this one here was The Man Who Died, I'm uh, sorry, The Man Who Finally Died. And that one has, oh, sorry, two different ones. So it has The Suspect and The Man Who Finally Died. And those both have commentary tracks on them. This was the series one here. This one, Sherlock Holmes. This is all surviving episodes of the BBC TV series. And this has all episodes, uh, audio commentaries for all episodes featuring Kim Newman. Uh, all, all episodes available with BBC Countdown Clock, Illustrated Peter Cushing audio interview with David Stewart Davies, Missing Episode Clips with optional, optional commentary track. And, and the last one in here, I got to cover like really everything on this one. And this is one here called Tender Dracula. I can't show you the back at all. And it's from 1974. This has a commentary with Jonathan Rigby on here. Love Me Tender Dracula interview with director uh, Pierre Grudstein and then um, Mendez, Menez of Speaking interview with actor Bernard Mendez and a trailer on this one here as well. And the other one here, which is from uh, Severn Films, is a, a double feature here with his films from Christopher Lee as well. And this is um, Cudillac Vampire. And I, I, I'm not even going to try to say this. I, I, I'm, <laughs> I have no idea. But it has on here uh, Cinema Vampires on here, featurette um, uh, in a trailer on here. And then it also has a booklet on here as well. But I, I know... I'm, I can't say these words. I don't even, I don't even know what that says. So I won't even try, I won't even try guys. And then the final one here, this is from um, Turbine Meeting. This is a German release here of the complete series of Knight Rider. And this is, has on here, you know, um, so it has 20 discs on here and then has some bonus stuff on here. So commentary tracks, Let's see, it has Nikon 2021 on here. I, a lot of it's in German, so I don't know all of the features that are in, in here. I know it has interviews, Nikon interviews, I believe, some archive stuff on here. But it's all of the episodes, though, of the series here. But a really cool collection. You know, if you guys have never seen this series, though, it's a really fun, you know, starring David Hasselhoff and his car, basically his talking car kit. And it's just a fun, very, very fun, fun series here. But anyway, though, guys, that was all for the review portion of this video. Like I always say, if you guys enjoy these videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching subscribing, and I'll see you guys later.